Hello and welcome to the Clever Fox YouTube channel. My name is Elise and today I am here to help you find your next work planner. I have a stack of planners here that we are going to talk about and you'll be able to really choose one that is best going to fit your needs in terms of work. Whether you are looking for something simple to take notes for meetings, you are looking for a weekly planner or even a planner that is going to help you break down all of your time in 15 minute increments, we've got the planner for you. I guarantee you will find your next work planner in this video. So make sure you watch the whole thing so that you can see each of the planners and the differences between them that I'm sharing today. And also make sure you're subscribed to our channel with that notification bell turned on so you get notified each time we post a new video. Let's dive into these planners. Now I have a stack here. But like I said, I am confident by the end of this video, you are going to find your next work planner. So I think that we are going to start with some of the ones that are going to be a little bit more basic if you don't need something really advanced when it comes to work. And in that case, my top choice is this desk pad. This has a ton of pages where you can write this week's main goal the priorities, have a to-do list, even have a habit tracker, and then you have five lines on each day. And whether you use it every day, whether your work schedule is Monday through Friday or Wednesday through Sunday, this is definitely going to be key for you. I also really like this next week section. And what you can even do if you don't want this whole desk pad sitting is that you can fold it. It would probably make sense to fold this way to be able to see everything. And then just pop it into whatever planner you're using. You can also even use this for planning ahead. If you fill out this page and even the next page, you can do a month at once. You can put the date right over here or even the dates over here. But this is a really simple way to kind of pre-plan your work week to know what's coming up. So this is the desk pad. Next up in terms of more simple planning, or if you are someone like me who has a lot of work meetings, is this meeting notebook. And this is brand new to me, and I have to tell you, I can't wait to use it. This is a hardcover, A5 size, and it has room for 60 meetings. So there is a user manual inside and some stickers for some fun as well. But let's look and kind of see how this is used. So first, of course, you have the introduction page with your name, and then you have meeting lists. There is going to be room for 60 meeting lists, 60 different meetings. You can write the objective of the meeting, the date, the page, which I'll get to in a second, and you can mark it D, R, and C. Done, rescheduled, and canceled. One of the coolest things about this notebook is the page. Look at that. These are numbered. So for each meeting, the day and the date, meeting purpose, attendees, start and end time, the agenda with the topics and time allotment, key takeaways, action items delegated to and deadline, and then any notes. And again, this corresponds to this notebook having numbers on each page, which is so helpful. And I can't tell you how many times I finish a work meeting and at the end of the meeting, we're like, okay, to recap, this is what I need to do. This is what you need to do. And being able to have this to map them all out is so helpful. Of course, there is a pen loop. There is a ribbon bookmark for wherever you need to be in the planner. We have a pocket folder and this band to keep it all closed. So you could use this and the desk pad together really simply if you don't necessarily need to block out a ton of specifics throughout your workday. If you are someone who wants to block out everything, we have planners for you. So I have here a smaller and a larger version of appointment books. So this smaller version is also the A5 sized, like the meeting notebook. And you're going to have space for your contacts, the calendar with holidays up through 2025. Then you have the months, month and year, main goal, top priorities, and to-do list. 
and you will have all 12 months in a row here. And after you get through the months, we have an hourly schedule for you. So if you are someone who doesn't need a ton of space and maybe you want something that's a little bit more portable, this A5 is definitely sized for you. These are 30 minute increments because it has seven and then there's a blank line and then eight. So this is really more about 30 minutes from 7 a.m. through 10 p.m. And then you have the month and year, main goal, top priorities, to-do list, and the dot grid section at the back. This planner has three bookmarks. So you can use this for whatever month you're on, whatever week you're on, and then you can even use it towards some of the note pages in the back. There's a lot of these pages for whatever you may need work-wise. It also comes with a folder and some stickers. So we have birthday, day off, payday, ASAP, urgent to do, priority meeting, more appointment stickers. So these are going to be sized really nicely for this smaller planner. If you want something a little bit bigger, something that can sit open on your desk, maybe you don't need the portability, but this would fit easily in like a larger tote, a backpack, a briefcase. Then we have the A4 sized appointment book. So again, you have the same contacts that we saw in the A5 size, same holidays, the yearly overview, and this is just a bigger size of what we saw in the A5 size. So the month and year, the top goal, the priorities, to-do lists and notes, and you will have all 12 months. Once you get through those, we jump into 15 minute increments. If you are someone who wants to schedule your workday 15 minutes at a time, this is the planner for you. It starts at seven. It shows here in little letters, 15, 30, 45, and goes to the next one. And then it goes to 9 p.m. and a ton of space on the side to be able to kind of map out the week. So essentially, this is a larger version of the A5 size, but because it has more space, there are 15 minute increments in addition to the dot grid, pocket folder, bookmarks, pen loop, and band to keep it closed. So I think that between these two, it really depends on whether or not you need those 15 minute increments or what size planner you wanna have with you, whether you work from home or you go to an office for work. Similar to the larger A4 sized appointment book, we have this weekly planner pro with time slots. This is going to be a little bit similar, but the appointment book is more focused on schedule and appointments. This is more set up like a regular planner. So when you first open it, we have all of this space like you see in your favorite Clever Fox planners, awareness and self-discovery, daily rituals, my vision board, what you want your life to be like one year from now, five years, 10 and 20 years in health and fitness, business and career, finance, personal development, relationships and romance, family and friends, fun and recreation and spiritual. And then you have one year goals, three month goals, another mind map for your three month goals. And you're going to do this each quarter. Then as we continue, you will have the monthly overview. So again, undated, all the notes section, this month's goals, things I will do to make this month great, skills to learn, places to go and people to see, habits to adopt, and things to avoid. At the end of that first month, because in the last two planners, you had all 12 months, and then we went into the weeks. This time you're going to have the month, then you have the monthly review. So what were the biggest wins? What were the biggest lessons learned and insights gained? Rate one to 10 your past month using the life balance wheel. Then you have a monthly review and then you go into the next month. So you'll have these monthly reviews and each month. And then we are going to jump into the weeks. This week is going to be a similar setup to the appointment book with a few caveats. This is half hour from 6 a.m. through 9.30 p.m. But with this planner, each day you have today's goal and three priorities. 
You have priorities, work-life balance, try and learn something new. I'm excited about work to-do list, personal to-do list, and habit tracker, dot grid, and a weekly review as well. And as you get towards the back of this, again, there are a ton of note pages. So if you really want the hour blocking, I think that it just depends on how much extra you want in your planner. If you'd like to be able to include a habit tracker and a to-do list, and you want these opening pages where you can really set out goals, whether they're personal or professional, then the Weekly Planner Pro with time slots is going to be the best one for you. If you really simply need space to put your appointments and your meetings, then this planner, the appointment book, is going to be the best one for you. And it really just depends on what kind of size you are looking for. Finally, we have the Advanced Weekly Planner. Of course, you have the opening page. What is the vision for the life I want? What is my life's purpose? What is my mission? I am grateful for my affirmations. What am I passionate about? Skills to learn. Then you have a vision board. The same my goals like we saw in the hourly. You have a focus for five goals and a mind map. And then the monthly overview with the plan, habits to adopt, skills to learn, things to avoid, places to go, people to see, this month's goals, this month's wins, how I'll improve next month. And you are going to have each of the months here back to back. And once you get past the months, you are going to have a little bit more of like, I mean, this is the advanced weekly planner. I kind of consider it a combination of a daily and a weekly planner because you have so much space for each day. So as you open a new week, you have this week's main goal and reward if achieved, this week's priorities, all this dot grid area, personal to-do list, habits and skills, this week's wins, how I'll improve next week. Then you have half a page for each day. Today's goal, three priorities, work to do and personal to do. And then the weekend is going to be a quarter of the page for each of them. And then you jump into the next week. So aside from this being an A5 size, again, a little bit more portable. If you wanna really be able to list things out without having to worry about the time blocking, this planner would be the one for you in terms of work. It's going to be a bit thicker because it's the advanced weekly. So again, you really have a ton of space for each of these. If you're just using this for work and you don't necessarily need the Saturday and Sunday section, you could block these off and use it for meeting notes. You could use it for things that are coming up next week. This planner, of course, also has three bookmarks. So you can do where you're at in the current month and also in the week. And then in the back, there's a couple of these dot grid pages. There's not a ton as we've seen before because this is already a pretty thick planner, but it does come with three pages of stickers and a pocket folder too. And we will keep this snapped in. So let's review. What we just went over was the advanced weekly planner. And this comes in the A5 size. And then with this A4 size larger planner is the weekly pro with time slots. This is going to have more of regular life planning and not just appointment booking. But if the appointment booking is important to you, and you don't need much more, then we have the A4 and the A5. And this really just depends on size. As a reminder, the A4 is 15 minute increments. The A5 is 30 minute increments. We also have the meeting notebook with the numbered notebook pages, which I'm so excited to use, and this desk pad calendar as well. Let us know which of these is going to be your next work planner. I told you that you would find your new work planner by the end of this video, and we can't wait to hear what you are choosing. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel with that notification bell turned on, and you can pick up all these products in your favorite colors over at cleverfoxplanner.com. Thanks for spending time with me today, and we will see you soon.